hello hello and welcome to vlogmas part three so today is monday and i kind of vlogged over the weekend but i just decided to scrap those clips um where i left off last was on friday morning when i got my negative test result um for covid because some people in my office had been exposed um i technically was not exposed um so that was good i got a lot of christmas shopping done and i was just honestly doing a lot of jobs that needed to be done um because plans had been cancelled and yeah i'm flying home on saturday so today as i said is monday um which is very exciting but there's a lot that needs to be kind of done before then and there's just a lot happening right now so i feel like i'll do a little bit of explaining and then we'll get into this whole prep to go home kind of vlog so if you're new here hi i'm anna may i'm currently living in new york i am an intern here at the un and i am from ireland so i'm going home on saturday and i'm so excited to go home and i will then be back in new york on i fly in on the trying to read my calendar here 28th yeah so i'm so excited to go home but in order to fly home i need to get a negative covid test which is fine but you know this omicron is coming for us so um thankfully i got my booster i vlogged that a couple weeks ago um so i am boosted um which is great but things are still kind of scary so um as of right now i do have like a office holiday party on friday um i'm honestly not sure if that's going to go ahead right now i feel like that's the thing in the times we live in plans can change just so quickly um but the plan is right now that i'm gonna go ice skating tomorrow we're gonna go out for dinner and then we're gonna go ice skating and that's gonna be like our little christmas thing um we're gonna go ice skating bryant park which is very exciting and then um thursday friday um things are kind of up in the air at the minute i don't know if my work holiday party is gonna go ahead but we'll just have to see um if it does I need to get a few things i think um it's fairly we think it's a fairly formal event so i bought some really cute shoes over the weekend um hello gorgeous oh, i really want to wear them um but also it's just it's just not the safest thing i guess we'll just have to see um whether they decide it's safe or not and then on friday more so that's on friday evening like friday night friday morning i think is when i'm going to plan to book a test i'm currently trying to figure out where i'm going to book a test um because it needs to be like a travel certified one and then my flight is 5 p.m on saturday so i think you know it might be interesting to share what it's like to travel internationally at this time of year under these current circumstances so i think why i'm deciding to kind of vlog this process um what I do need to start doing, in case I just start deciding to make fun plans during the week, is prep and pack. So I have a couple more presents to wrap. I still need to get... I posted my Christmas cards today at work. I sent them from the UN because I thought it would be cute. Um, because there is a post office there. So I got these gorgeous Kofi Annan stamps and a World Toilet Day stamp, which I'm obsessed with. But I'm going to kind of plan my outfits for the next week-ish and start to plan what I'm going to bring home. You know, what I'm going to like bring home to wear at home and um, what I'm gonna bring home to leave at home because I'm gonna be switching out clothes when I'm there and all of that so I need to wrap some gifts I still need to buy some gifts there's a lot there's a lot of moving parts I'll say that I've been talking too long so I'm gonna stop but right now I'm just gonna wrap some presents tidy up and go to bed I feel like it's so dark so you probably can't see me and it's loud but it's like 11 30 p.m i'm only getting back from ice skating now it was so cute though we had a super busy day today went to a press conference i actually did my tour of the un so it was like a good day but a very busy day good morning it's wednesday today i decided to crack out the nap dress because why not today's gonna be a really busy work day 
and I don't think I'm going to be able to necessarily do anything else um, but we'll just have to see how it goes there's a lot to get done before Friday and today is Wednesday so I booked my PCR test to go home last night so I'm going to do that early on Friday morning before I go to work assuming that I am still going into the office at that point um, I also did an at home antigen just because I felt like I wanted to like you know when it's just like in the back of your mind so I did one it was very negative thankfully and yeah I'm gonna head and have a little snack and then head into work um because I'm running a little bit late but I think things are gonna be a little crazy from here until I fly home Back from a super busy day, the nap dress went down very well, <laughs> got a lot of compliments, um, got some pizza, and I'm gonna go out later and get a cookie because that's the kind of day it was today. I ate my pizza and then I lay down and I could not get back up for like an hour, so it, today just like really took it out of me. Um, there's just a lot that needs to be done by the end of the week. Um, today's Wednesday, I it's like I did four days work in one day. So that's why I got the pizza. That's why I'm gonna head out and go get a cookie. I have decided I'm gonna go to Chip City cause it's a little bit further away and I kind of do with the walk, but not in my heeled boots. Um, I nearly sat on some people's laps today on the bus. Um, yeah, it was not good. I am absolutely exhausted. So I'm gonna put on, I'm just gonna put on my, my like platform docks uh, cause I think they'll work with this too. And uh, walk out to Chip City and get myself a cookie after this day. The cookie has been acquired. I'm so excited to eat this. It's still nice and warm even after my walk home. And I'm just gonna watch a couple minutes of YouTube before I hop in the shower. I actually need to detangle my hair so bad. Actually, I'll probably wrap presents after I eat my cookie show you that i might show you a couple things that i got people and then shower and bed so i'm just about to wrap some presents most of the gifts i have for people are already wrapped um i decided to actually use like actual wrapping paper this year even though environmentally it's not the best idea but it's this whole thing of like i want to pack i'm packing people's gifts and i like when I'm unpacking and stuff. I don't want it to be so complicated of like how I pack things and people accidentally getting spoilers. Anyways, I've decided to do this this year, but I don't know, it doesn't sit totally well with me. My paper that I got is very cute though. Um, it's Martha Stewart. I need to start writing people's names on these because I just have all of these random things <laughs> wrapped and I don't have anyone's name on them. So that's not great but i wanted to show what i got for my dad this is mostly yeah it's kind of for my dad i haven't gone through other things i've gotten for people um but i thought this was cute because i wanted to get stuff from like the un gift shop or the un bookshop it's just the bookshop that's open right now um because tours have restarted for my dad because i don't think he got anything before because in my previous internship um, I don't think I got anything for him, um, but I went to the bookshop the other day and I picked out a couple things because I know this is kind of this is what he would want. So I got him a sustainable development gold mug, which has sustainable development gold on one side, and then the little SDG circle on the other. Um, I think it's very cute. So he usually likes like nice fancy mugs, but I thought this was a, a good one to have in the house. I got this for myself. Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions, a uh, little SDG sticker because I like it. Um, and then I got two pins. So I got the regular round SDG one, which I have one on my backpack. And then the other one is Sustainable Development Goals. Like, I think this is a newer one. Being a beauty guru trying to get this to focus. There we go. Little Sustainable Development Goals. And that's actually for like a family friend. He just started his own business and it's kind of to do with sustainability. So I thought I would get him that. and Or maybe this one, I'll have to see uh, which one his sister thinks he would like more or maybe both. And then the other thing I got for my dad was this really nice notebook. And it has a little foiled UN logo at the bottom. And yeah, it's made out of 
something, something eco-friendly, something. It's made from apples. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna wrap these. Um, I think the camera battery on this might die, so I'll just film on my phone. And then I'm just gonna detangle this absolute mess, have a shower and go to bed. I straightened my, well not straightened, I tried to blow dry my hair straight last night and it didn't really work, but uh, today's outfit and we're on the way. So, as you can tell, it's still bright outside because it is uh, like 2.30 p.m., not even, and I'm already headed home. Like, I'm here now. Uh, yeah, they decided to send everyone home in the office. There's just, I don't want to give like people's personal information out, but yeah, there's COVID. And I don't want to be there because <laughs> I'm flying home. So I'm going to do an antigen test as soon as I get in. And then I'm just working from home today and tomorrow, and then I should be going home. I am so shiny right now um but I have all my little bits and pieces here just anxiously <laughs> watching the test strip even though I know you're not supposed to look at it until it's 15 minutes um yeah there was a big meeting that's usually at two in person and then they said that they didn't want us virtually and then I went home and it turns out they did want some people virtually so anyways too late too bad so sad um I am like again train wreck of a room what's new so I'm gonna try and kind of I need to figure out some work stuff there's some things that we have due tomorrow um and kind of by the end of today but we're getting there so I can work on that collaboratively with the other intern um and we can do that and I can tidy up here and um I'm just preparing also for the slight chance that I won't be able to get back into the US like you just never know at these with these things um I think I said it earlier like wait times right now for um tests on the street so I booked mine for travel because the wait times I've seen um people talk about them being an hour and a half so um and I, I need to get it back by a certain time so just a lot of stress happening right now um I am going to stop anxiously looking at this. Um, I don't have any symptoms, so it's fine. I had a tension headache yesterday and it really freaked me out, even though I knew it was a tension headache. I get them all the time. Um, so I'm gonna try and set up my little work from home setup. I'm probably gonna sit on my bed, I'm not gonna lie, and tidy and start to pack and just like breathe. <laughs> and pray that my booster works. It's a couple of hours later. I don't know the last time I talked. I think it was when I was taking my antigen, which if you can see is negative, thankfully. Um, but I keep looking at it, even though they're like, don't look at it after 30 minutes, but I'm like, <laughs> I gotta keep checking it. Um, so I found out officially that um, apparently COVID numbers have doubled in three days here. So I want to get the fuck out of this city love it but I would like to go home um I have you know a pretty small space here just a room I don't really have the kind of support system like I have people here who I know would really try and help but um I don't have a huge support system here so it just makes it extra scary um I have my test early tomorrow morning like 8 55 a.m because I thought I was gonna do it before work but I'm working from home now so um I'll run out and I'll get that and come back and I just kind of have that one task I need to get finished for tomorrow so I'm gonna tidy up here I'm gonna walk out I really want to get myself a milkshake from Shake Shack so I'm gonna do that and then come back and like try and eat through some of the food in my fridge I think I'm just like really nervous about needing to like I'm in like scavenger mode you know like I don't want to eat food in case I have to isolate in my room my battery just died so I'm back on my phone but I'm going to tidy up and start packing. I was just on the phone with my parents and I actually remembered I need to try and call some other family right now and then 
gonna go get my milkshake and try and settle. That won't be happening, but you know, we can try. Milkshake has been acquired. It's so good. Here's my hot take, food and Shake Shack overrated. Their shakes, incredible. I think we've actually come to the time where I should be packing or pulling out a suitcase, given that this is Thursday night and I fly out a Saturday evening. I think I've just been so apprehensive, like not counting my chickens, you know, but it has, like, I can't wait until I know for certain because I might not know until Saturday morning, at which point I need to leave for the airport pretty early because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of like holiday travel people. So I'm going to probably do a little time lapse. I'm going to try and tidy up here because it is such a mess because the last week has been absolutely wild. I'm going to pull down, I think, this suitcase first um, and start putting like the most important things and kind of putting like a note to myself of what's going to go in there. So like my work laptop will be in my backpack, but the charger will be in there, etc. And then my big suitcase, I'm not going to pull out until probably the last minute, but I'm going to try and clear as much of this space as I can, even though I need it tomorrow to work from home. Um, but I'm going to try and designate some spaces in my room where I can put all of the, oh, I thought there was a spider. I can put all the stuff that I need to pack. Because as I said in previous vlogs and just before, I'm switching out some of my clothes for more winter clothes and other bits and pieces. So I'm going to have my milkshake and then I'm going to get going on all this. I haven't quite been able to bring myself to pack. Um, I don't know, there's just something kind of freaking me out about doing it. Um, I tidied up a lot and I kind of set aside, I know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and I know what I'm gonna wear traveling, hopefully, God willing. Um, I have that kind of, kind of set aside and I've thought about like shoes I'm gonna wear and that kind of thing. I have to keep pausing me talking because my roommate's starting with her boyfriend. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't feel great. It's not my, my voice is just deeper because it's late and I haven't spoken in a while. Um, I don't, it's like a tension headache, but I'm prone to them. Um, it's obviously from like the stress of today. I, I could feel it coming on, so I bought a Gatorade because a lot of the time that'll also like help because you can just, you know, if you're a little bit dehydrated, it'll get really bad. Um, I bought melatonin earlier, actually, which is not something, I don't even know if you can get it in Ireland. I don't think you can. Um, I know people use it here. So I bought dye free melatonin, five milligrams may support restful sleep. I got these for travel, but I think I'm gonna try and take one tonight. I could not sleep last night, just in general, like it's not unusual for me not to be able to sleep, but I think right now I am at a really peak level of stress. Um, I posted it on Instagram. And I had so many people reply to me, um, like people who didn't know what the situation's like in New York right now, um, people who did, and you know, sharing their stories and what their life is looking like right now. Um, so it's all a bit much. Everyone's just doing the best they can really. Um, but this surge just, it when I say it came up quickly, it came up quickly. I thought I would get more comfort out of taking the at-home antigen, um, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not going to be able to actually wait until I get my PCR result back to pack because I got the less than 16 hour one, which, so don't quote me on this, but I think that means I'm going to get my result before 1am on Friday night, which, um, yeah, for like a flight at 5.30pm the next day, it's for the amount of stuff I need to pack, it's not really a smart idea. So, anyways. You know, tomorrow's gonna come, <laughs> whatever I decide to do or not do or pack or, you know, whether or not my test is positive or negative. And I'd say there's plenty of people who are looking at this like, 
Why would you think you test positive? Um, because you never know. I'm just a nervous girl, you know? And it's just the idea of spending two weeks in this room. It's not really something I want to do. So, could absolutely be worse. And we don't have to face that quite yet. So, I think I'm just really discouraged by the amount of people who are testing positive right now didn't really know, who feel kind of fine. So anyways, I've been talking for too long. I'm not gonna pack. It's too late. Right now um, I'm gonna take melatonin. I'll let you know how it works out in my next vlog. So I will end this one off here. My next video will be my getting tested, travel or packing and hopefully travel vlog. So subscribe to see that video when it goes live. Um, you can also follow along in real time at Anime by Design over on Instagram and I will see you in my next video.